Hello there everyone, this is Neko Knight here, getting ready to play Satisfactory. Also, if you end up enjoying my videos and all that, make sure to subscribe. If you don't, well, if you're an anime fan, and then you know that some things don't get good until after watching a few episodes. So, I recommend watching a few of my episodes. Maybe I'll grow on you. Who knows? Anyways, today we're going to be going with basic steel and production. Probably trying to figure out a good place to set that up. And uh, we're also going to start looking into getting things like this. With uh, wall mounts and all that other fun stuff. Foundations, walls, architecture, all that fun stuff. But that's gonna have to be later on because we're gonna that requires to start trashing things and I'm not at that point yet. Also, we have Hmm. I could either I could turn caterium into wire or I could turn iron into copper wire or iron wire or we can turn make pure copper I'm thinking you know I'm not sure which one to choose this is where I would like to sometimes let you guys choose but for now we'll have to just make a choice as is I think once we get into the oils and stuff this is going to be very helpful this stuff could be helpful too but it, at the same time it's kind of eh at least in my opinion. This one actually wouldn't be too bad. You know what? We'll go with that. I don't have other hard drives on me. So yeah. We're going to need to research that. We're going to also need to research this. This uh, will allow us to dump alien DNA camp uh, capsules into this. And we'll get DNA points. And we'll be able to buy some things from here as you level up your phases you'll be able to buy more and more advanced things and sometimes it might be cheaper or easier just to buy this stuff so you can complete basic steel and other production items instead but that's usually down the line for this is explosive we're gonna need black powder charcoal this is gonna need actually I think I kind of want this I, I maybe we have enough frames generated now I will say I've got uh, my iron place being built to a couple there I believe that's rotors I believe that's plates and I believe that is frames yes we've got I think plenty enough so let's complete this this will open up the ability Milestone to make steel. Reach. Steel production unlocked. Foundry grants access to new, simple steel parts. An additional project part can now be constructed. Progress to the next phase is now possible. Yeah, in order to get the tier 4, you have to get basic steel production. So as soon as you can, depending if you've uh, watched my previous episodes, Effectively, you want to go in the order uh, you're going to want to get obstacle clearing first as that will allow you to establish biofuel and let you survive until you get to coal power. Once you get coal power, then you can go to basic steel. You can go, f you're going to, uh, but before that, you're going to have to go from obstacle to part assembly. Then, it's up to you on what you want to choose. I, I recommend Logistics and Logistics 2. Because this will help speed up the production. And this will help you efficiently efficient your system. Then after that, you can go basically whatever else you want. Then Cold Power, then Basic Steel. Once you get Basic Steel going I recommend going for advanced steel 
because then that can open up logistics here and then you can uh, vehicle I don't know if coal works if it does, then I would suggest getting a coal plant, hooking it up to vehicle transport, and start transporting with this. I might actually go for that and test that out. I don't know if I'll have the time for it or not. I do know I, sh I have enough of those. I have enough of that and enough of that. But if I do do that, the vehicle, I either have to build a wide enough path and a long enough path for them to drive down or I have to travel basically all along here build a bridge across here or build a bridge across here go down here pretty much like this pathway all the way to here to here then have coal transported here have a, an iron spot transported down here actually is there an iron spot There is there. Is there any more nearby? Because that's all being used. And that's being used. Holy mother flip nuggets. No. We've got iron over there, but... What about coal? We should have some coal up here. We've got over here and here. Do we not have any up here? Dang it. So we would have to do some transporting and all that other fun stuff. It might be possible to get this to transport down here and across up to here and get a f factory going over here. Eventually you're, you're going to want to get drones. Uh, I'm gonna go for improved melee combat so I can start bashing the hell out of things easier. Mm hmm? Milestone reached. R&D inflated your pocket dimension, added an additional hand equipment slot, and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. Uh, sweet. I, I did not know I could do that. I simply just... Uh, <laughs> uh, don't you love bugs? I'm really good at finding them. I'm like so good at finding them. Sometimes it's not... It's kind of scary. Alright. Up. 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 So here we're gonna need to go for sulfur at some point for that. Oh, I have one suggestion. I know it's too late to be saying this in the video, but can you, can the developers please make the ability to research hard drives sooner on the tree? Like maybe Caterium, you have a branch here. So you have a uh, Caterium Ignit and then you have a branch that goes uh, quick wire and then one that shoots off to here and makes uh, what do you call it hard drive research or what other one is there that's medical properties no uh, no that doesn't feel like it would be right uh no. The only one that feels like it would be right would be Caterium. And that, and actually, the branch would be here. In other words, because of Caterium Electronics, you could make an excuse, Caterium, upgrade your object scanner with Caterium parts, and voila, you can now scan for stuff. Personal opinion, it would make finding these a lot more worth it and a lot more fun right now it's just like you come across them sweet the only reason why i suggest do making it open up early is because you still need the parts to get to that part all right so we're gonna have to get 
coal up here. We're gonna need to get vehicle transport and that is already being uh, optimally used. So, well, not actually optim, but close enough. So we need to find a place that has coal and iron near each other. So I'm gonna have to figure out where the closest coal and iron batch is. So we've got coal over here and here. And then iron. Yes, I know about that iron and that iron. Where is there any iron over here somewhere? Mm. I may have to go and explore in order to find a much more appropriate area for iron and coal because I want to try and get this as close as possible to each other and that isn't allowing me to other than driving all the way around and driving to that source I would have to pick which source goes to where and right now uh, coal would be going to the iron because I would have more room to build and plus this is going to effectively be like a big coal plant and whatever else that may need to be delivered here and it takes 20 years to go up once I establish up here I can simply uh, I guess I could build a ladder Another, I know they have hyper tubes, but tell you the truth, I would love an elevator. Something simple, basic, very easy. You can just go up, requires a little bit of glass, a little bit of iron, uh, a little bit of module frames, some screws, some rods, you know, a little bit of everything. And our power is sitting at production of 375. Oh, I did not see that. I'm gonna grab that. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get this. Re I I don't know if I can get this researched in time, but woo! Ow! <laughs> I don't know why they trip but it's funny as hell. Ow. Wee. Girl. Wee. Ha uh ha. -huh. If you're lucky and you do it right, you can simply jump over their head and land and stab them. Actually, can I? Haha! <laughs> you stupid idiot. How do you like getting uh, attacked and can't do anything about it? Mine. Also mine. Oh, hello there. Are you gonna attack or are you gonna be stuck? You're stuck. Here, let me help you unstick. There you go. Yay! Oh, 50. This one we, we're gonna need to plop down production or power. We're gonna th throw down one of those. Throw that. We're gonna first mark this on the map. We're gonna try and get this researched. And I guess maybe try and find some more. So we'll throw down this MW50 and then, oops, I accidentally hit my cancel recording button. So in the process, I got that done. So as we were looking or I was a, thought I was showing you guys, I found where my steel factory is going to be. 
Over there, I found coal nearby and iron. If you go see here, there should be coal that pops up here. Yes, ping, ping, ping. Ping. And now there should be right there. And then if we search for iron, there should be a patch right up here. So this should be roughly in between. So I'll um, feed this to here and I'll feed this as soon as it... The hell? Making me look like a liar, stupid game. Can we get the iron, the ping here, please? I wonder if there's just a certain... Ah, uh, there we go. See? Iron. We've got a lot of iron over here. we got coal here. This should be roughly where we need to plop that down and we can start our steel factory. Now that we've got... Now that I've got that, I'm going to go throw it in. I'm going to go scout out that area with you guys. And then at that point, probably call it an episode because it's mostly just been me talking, running around, showing, showing some research and showing my plans and my factory that I have going. I do plan to pretty up the place and make it look a lot better, but that's going to be in time. Wee! Yeah, I kind of figured that was about to happen. One thing nice about this is... Eventually you could learn to just cut across like this and instead of running all the way down Mine Whee. There we go. Hi, bye Whoop. I hate when I hit that I am gonna have to do some other experiments along the way and we're going to have to start looking into vehicle transport. I'm going to see if I can get this researched in the next 10 minutes. That would put me at about 26-ish minutes. Alright. We're going to make sure we can have enough to place down a ma'am with us. Perfect. Alright. So, we're going to try and get a couple of the... Re oh, right. We can't research. That's been taken up now. Uh, we're gonna make sure to keep one of those on hand. Chainsaw, that thing, nuts, this, that. We don't really need this, or that, or that. Uh, don't need that. Maybe in the future, don't need that. Most of this, we don't need. I don't think I can eat the mushrooms, but you never know. Alright. Let's go turn this to infinite. So, the hub. Mm hmm? Apply. There we go. All right. That's going to be quite a ways to get over there. I not. My best bet is to run along the, uh, the wall here and to get there. It looks like as we explore, we'll come across better, more efficient areas to build. My goal is to have a bunch of medium factories. Last time in my previous series, I had a bunch of not medium, but uh, small factories with one big main factory. It's where I brought everything to. So basically all the small factories. They just simply allowed me to uh, build the first stage. In other words, I converted everything into ignits and then sent it on its way. I have learned my lesson from that uh, series about oop, about putting mixing uh, things on the same train. And it looks like I might actually be able to make an explosive factory too. If I remember in my previous, previous series, like two series back or whatever, there should have been sulfur around here in the forest. We'll have to hit that up and see. 
how far away is it? So, oh, 400 something. Okay, so this might just become steel and bomb factory because we've got sulfur there, we've got copper here, or not copper, but coal here, we've got steel here, or iron here. So I think I may actually put it more towards the center there instead. Whee! That way I can deliver everything to it instead. Although it's going to suck relying on vehicles to do that. Oop. Don't want to slide jump going up hills. But we'll take that because we're going to need that for research. All right. Where? So we should be almost here. Oh, hello guys. All right. Sulfur should be around here somewhere. Shouldn't be too far. 200 and something that way. You missed. You missed these two. Ow. Ow. Ah! I didn't see you. Now you're dead. I'll take your body. Come on. Jump. Toro! Where the hell did you die at? Oh well. Mine. Alright, so we at 200 that way. That means 400 that way. And that means if I do this, I'm split it in about half ish. So 300 and 200, or 300, and then iron. Alright, so about here is where we're going to be setting up our uh, steel factory. So, can't remove that. And... This may not be exact exactly, but it's going to be roughly where we're setting up. Actually, steel. Bomb. Back three. Because we're going to want to start blowing up all those fart rocks. That's going to be absolutely amazing, being able to get rid of all of them. And this actually isn't a too bad of an area. It's going to pose quite an interesting challenge and quite a interesting build in the future. That is definite. I'm going to also, because it looks like there's the iron. We'll have to figure out how to get that over to here, and then we'll have to figure out how to get this coal, which should be over. Ooh, limestone. That's this is perfect. Cause now I can make encased steel beams. Because I can use that and Oh, there's also, oh wow, this per place is almost perfect. We've got quartz right there. We've got sulfur. We've got cop, not copper. Uh, <clears throat> we've got iron, coal. Um, is there catering? It's, like if there's catering within this little, wow. <clears throat> wow also what the hell is temp 
I, I've never seen Temp before, but we got Adrium. This might be a, a, a mini super factory because we have sulfur, we have coal, we have Caterham, we have quartz, we have iron. The only thing we need to check if there's within a reasonable range of this circle here. Oh, and there's copper. This, I could literally build an entire pathway from, of belts from basically here, 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 a complete circle here. This may be the perfect spot to start, uh, at least in my opinion, because it has everything, uh, at least all of these within a reasonable distance of you and catering is going to play a big role later on and you're going to want quite a bit of uh these around you you've got a pure one right there you've got normal you've got normal you've got i think a temp one there's a pure over there but still so depending on how things go this may end up becoming my new new factory site <laughs> Don't you love that? All right. I'm going to go back to the ma'am. We're going to see if the thing has... I, I don't know if I paid attention or not. Wee! Uh, to, being, uh, to it being done. I think this is just a rock. I was about to go, ooh, copper. But that's just a copper rock, and I don't care about that. Whoop. Gotta be careful of the fart rocks. They can be very, very deadly. Because they... Ooh. Thankfully, the water was returned here. Because that would have hurt had I... Uh, hit... If there was no water and I went splat. Another suggestion I have... Oh, perfect timing. I was on my way back. I don't know if I'll get the. We're gonna get this research. We're gonna pick out a item and we're gonna call it an end. I. It's gonna suck having to splice these videos together. I usually try to record them all back to back because it's hard to uh, edit videos when dealing with work, full time job dealing with helping with family, dealing with needing time to relax, cool off, all that fun stuff, it, and all kinds of other things. Most of the time it's because I'm tired after working, uh, well, pretty much after done working. I eventually hope to turn this into a career. In other words, entertain you guys, show you guys tips, tricks, helpful hands. Other fun little tidbits, this, that, with games, showing you possible ways to get things done, showing you uh, other close to in game content, you name it. But still, oh. Hmm. Admittedly, dang it. I think I'm gonna have to go with wet concrete because that will give me four and I'm gonna need that in order to actually make encased steel beams efficiently without having to build a bajillion uh, whatever you call it although this is a nice one to get too. Oh well, we'll go with this first, then we'll get the others. Alright, for now, we'll call it here. If you guys enjoyed listening to me run around, listen to me talking, showing things off, all that kinds of other fun stuff, please like. If you didn't, well, I understand. It was just me running around talking and explaining things. So not much exciting happened. At least, it depends on your point of view, really. Anyways, 
If you want to see more of this series, make sure to check out the in-screen credits as I will be doing more. And if you want to be added on to the in-screen credits like these people, make sure to publicly subscribe. After a certain period of time, I'll add you on. If you leave before I reach a thousand though, I'll remove you off because it's for people who gave me a chance. And obviously, you're not giving me a chance if you left. And trust me, I am and I will become successful one way or another. It's just a matter of time. Alright, if you want to see other games I play, make sure to check out my channel. I do play other games in the process, like uh, Icarus and a few other things. I do have, tend to like anime, although I don't really show it that much other than my intro. But still. Anyways, I'll have to say bye-bye and see you next time.